What's up, Dog Pound? Matt Wilhelm here with you today. I am joined by Gary Barnage, Cleveland Browns' Walter Payton Man of the Year. We're going to highlight some of the top touchdown passes that Gary had this year, so let's get to the plays. Here we are, play one against the Arizona Cardinals. It is third and three, and the ball is actually on the three-yard line. It seems as if, and we'll get to the snap here in a second, you are the read. The, the ball is coming to you because Josh does not look any other way. Well, it would depend on uh, what, what the defense is in. If it's man coverage, which they're actually in man coverage, then the ball is going to go to me. If it's zone, then we're going to look to the other side because they have a combination over here. But if it's man coverage, depending on the leverage of the defender, is what, what route I'm going to run. So the key is that the, right here is get, get him to move. Get him off his ground and then get separation so that way I can get a chance to catch the ball. And the one thing that I found kind of surprising is you don't run, you personally hadn't run a lot of slants, but yet you gave him the, fa the slant fake to get him to just jump inside so that you can win with your body position outside and yeah. knowing that Josh was going to have the ball thrown high and away where you can make that big play. Well, that's the thing. They'd never know what we're going to do because they know you're always going to put something new out there. And Josh ended up putting a perfect throw on this and perfect play. Perfect awesome. Touchdown. And the next play we're going to highlight here is against the Denver Broncos. And the scenario is as follows. It's third and three with the ball on the 11-yard line. And just as we kind of focus on the first play, you're on the back side of three by one. You come out again down here in the red zone. Now, the one thing to me as a former linebacker that, that jumps out to me is, is your alignment. Here you're aligned you know, very much inside, which to me says you're gonna run an outbreaking route. Yeah, so the play is I'm running a corner route and if, if I have leverage on the linebacker, then Josh knows all he has to do is put in the back corner. That's where I'm running to. And then they, they're all off position. So then he just puts it right where I can make a play and throws a good ball and I catch it and we score a touchdown. And is that something that you guys work on in practice? Is Josh really throwing to a spot knowing you have to get to that back pylon or, or is it really throwing to you? On this play, it's, it's to the pylon, to, to a spot. Now on the play before, it's, it's depending on the coverage and, and I got to play off the ball where it's thrown, whether he throws it to the back end of the zone or if he throws it back shoulder. It's all on leverage. And the last play we're going to highlight today, and I think everybody knows it very well, the situation is Brown 16, Ravens 21, so we're down by five, and it is third and five from the 18-yard line. You guys are now empty. As you guys notice, uh, the Baltimore Ravens are very aggressive. They're going to bring some type of blitz. When do you know the ball's going to come your way? As you see, I knew as soon as the guy blitz, I was like, me or Duke's getting the ball, no matter what. I got to run out here, and I know Duke's coming underneath me. So depending on what this safety is, actually the safety does, is who's he going to throw the ball to. And I think he just didn't really have time to set his feet to throw to Duke, so he just threw it up and said, make a play. When did you know that the ball was settling on some part of your body? I, I felt it on my ankle, and then so I squeezed my other leg on top of it because I could feel it. And I was like, I got to get this to my hands because I saw a defender running over, and I think he saw the same thing. So I was trying to get to my hands so it would be a catch. So I knew if I got it to my hands, there's no way I was dropping it. But I didn't know if it actually hit the ground first or what happened until, as you see, these def our offensive linemen are running. When Mitchell Schwartz runs over to me, the smile on his face and how excited he was that it was a catch, that's when I knew it was a catch. Because I had no idea if it hit the ground or where it, before it landed on my ankle. You've been very adamant about wanting to be a Cleveland Brown. Walk us through that process. Yeah, it was something that was, it was, we've actually been in talks throughout the year and I'm very appreciative that the Browns gave me that opportunity because if they would never gave me the opportunity to begin the year, it would have never have happened. And, and getting a contract extension is one way to get rewarded. Another way to get you got rewarded this year as being announced as a Pro Bowl alternate. Well, Gary, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you very much. You got it.